Oh, what have I done? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's Friday. That's what oh, you want. That's, that's <laughs> what you know what. <laughs> it's. Uh, don't mind the music, everyone. It's a. Lo- I should remember that it's on a loop. And so if I don't turn the loop off, it just starts. Oh, so I classy. timed it perfectly. Either way, mate. It actually works quite well. It actually worked well. Wait so we could do it that when the music stops, we go live. And then by the time yeah. the intro finishes, the music starts. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. mate. It was, it was nice. I'm feeling El Monte. Good. Friday. Friday. How are we all? What's happening? Very good. Uh, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Um, I'm excited to see your video today. Mm. Oh, God. I mean, it's one of those things we were having. So today, uh, Friday, I have to put out a video, doing a video a day. Uh, but this time I've got George helping. So can I claim it if George is editing it? That's what I need to know before I tell you what the video is about. And no, uh, what, what do you think, Sebs? Yeah, no, I reckon it's okay because there is a lot of work that goes into the editing. Um, yep. But I, th- I think the filming of it all and the concept and all of that, I think, I think it's fair that you can take a Could 50% it be a, claim in it. So a 50% claim. So it's now a Georgie half Boy half. Yeah. and TJ yeah, co-creation. Maybe that could be a Friday a fun one. Could you guys do Pro-cre- on a Friday, you co-create? Did you say co-create? Pro- we work, co-cre- co-create. I think we work. Pro- pro- we're not procreating, that's for sure. Uh, we might co-create, and I, I won't. You know, I won't say no. George, do you enjoy collabing with myself and shooting and getting around the content? I love it. It was so much fun. Um, but the edit is going to be good. Just so we're on the same page here. Are we? Are we talking about it or we shot this? <laughs> well, I don't know. I I feel like we can't talk too much about it, but let's mm-hmm. just say, should we just say what it's it is great. about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us the concept. Yeah. The con- so the concept is, I me- I messaged George last night and I said, can we Was shoot this when a- you were pissed? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a bit, I was on fire. I was on fire. I was editing. I've still got my wine glass next to my table. Oh, great. I uh, messaged Amy upstairs and said, babe, can you order me a kebab? I sent her the place I wanted it from. And um, and so that came while editing and pissed. And in the same sort of breath, I uh, was shooting at text left, right and center. And I sent one to George. And I said, uh, I said, we should, uh, what did I say? Hang on, sorry. I'm just looking through this. Anyway, I basically said, can we shoot a making of the Georgie Boys Hump Day replay? And George, serendipitous, because you told me this morning that you just got out of the shower, and what were you thinking in the shower last night just before I text? Yeah, exactly the same thing. I got out and I was like, oh, it'd be fun to do a making of one of these videos. But then I was like, oh, but I shoot it all myself. I'm going to have to get Tommy or Josh to shoot it. And I was like, ah, just sort of put it in the back on the back burner and then you called me like an hour later I was like, oh, sorry Crazy. that's why that's why i can't see in my text because i was that pissed i forgot i called george <laughs> <laughs> so that's so kind of, what george. time is it going to come out georgie boy uh five o'clock oh that's good five p.m i'll so be in the studio time, right? i reckon mm. we're going to have a beverage yeah. together on that last half hour of an edit and then, yep. um, and then hit publish. So, Josh, this needs to be shot out from every platform that the we Discord, have. Discord, we'll, WhatsApp, yep. the Facebook group. Yep. I'm going to stick it on bloody Reddit. I'm going to put it on our Reddit. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do our Slack channel. Let's That's do huge. our Slack channel. There's yeah, a bunch wow. of people that <laughs> <laughs> don't Slack work channel. in the office that are on there. <laughs> I reckon we get this out. And, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Well, I got a I got a really annoying text from Sevs. I didn't actually know if it was last night or this morning. You know, oh. like you just, you look at it and you're mm. like, whenever you got it, it was too much to deal with in that moment. I, 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 I actually, I did realize that because you didn't reply to it immediately. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to say to this. I don't I care. <laughs> like I sort of, so I get a text. What time is it? 9.34 p.m. I was already in bed at that point. Me too. Uh, I was still texting you then, Josh. This, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were blowing up my phone. I just sort of waited until, yeah, you were you were hitting me hard. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm not, 
I'm not annoyed or anything, but I just haven't had time. So I just sort of go through and be like, yeah, yeah, the song's called El Monte. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, Lee is super nice. Uh, again, you know, that's like I'm going through sort of one by one. But no, so the message, the message from 97 at 9.34 p.m. was, for fuck's sake, and if we've learned anything, Sev's just getting annoyed like he's done exactly what he does in real life which is rather than saying what's happened he's blowing up first he's going oh no <laughs> oh for fuck's sake I'm like, okay here we go like he's priming me in the message for fuck's yeah. sake just realize i sent my bellroy ba- bag back and that's fine like sending his bellroy ba- bag back that was mm. i knew that with the office keys in <laughs> it's very annoying Absolute disaster. Did that you not a, look? For fuck's sake. I mean, is a part of me went to the thing like this guy never thought we we're going back to the office. You knew what you, were, <laughs> you were like working from home, sending the keys back to Bellroy. Yeah. And so you said you're going to email the guy. Your second email was I oh, just emailed the bloke or whatever to see if he can find it. Have you heard back from Bellroy? Haven't heard back from them yet. Okay. So, the, okay, uh, on, look, the pr- so you bought it. You bought a brand new bag. Why were your keys in it? Did you use it once and no, then were like, so this, this is ab- absolutely not. So this is the thing. I return like because I've had that bag for maybe about a year now. So Bellroy so is what, a, a bag brand, and they do like wallets and all mm-hmm. that sort of thing. And so, do you want to show the bag? Yeah. Uh, well, so this is this is this is my new this is my new bag, and so it's a black what, bag. It's a very sort of minimal. Could imagine a yeah, guy. In Collingwood it's, it's or somewhere nice. in the north, oh, uh, walking with it, it's it's quite nice. Yeah, 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 that is nice. Anyway, so I initially had a sort of like light grey colour one, and I've had it for about a year. And one of the handles broke off it, and so I did a warranty claim, and I sent it back to them, and they and they sent me out a new one, same colour, and that one was also missing a handle. It was just a production issue. And was it a handle or it was just like yeah. the little tab, wasn't it? Like the, t- yeah, the, the handle on the zip, the little tab to open it. So I just thought like, I, I remember you taking the them off the, for that. Yeah. That's the whole Jeez, thing. Absolutely. I remember being a kid and one of them falling off and you know, you cry and then your mum just comes over and just go, there you go. It's back on. It's fine. No, it wasn't was, going back on. And so because you had another bag, I was like, why don't you take the, the little tag you're describing as a handle. It's not a fucking handle. It's a little. No. It's a little piece of string that makes the zipper a bit easier. Yeah. And so because oh, yeah, that's what you go to grab. Can yeah. you not see the zip if the if the little beige coloured, what you call a handle? Yeah. Isn't well, on there? I mean, you well, it's a, well, it, what? the problem. What like I I broke it initially. Like the leather, like it came off or whatever. And then the one that they sent me, it was also missing one. And I'm just like, I like I don't know if this is worth it. But they have sent me a new one, so I'm just gonna ask for a new one and say this one is missing the strap the tag and anyway so i'd already put all my stuff into this new bag because i was like great it's all sorted i'll leave it because i got a little hook in my room where all I put your my stuff bag. what is it like what do you have you just well, you're just making like, out like it's you've got lots of stuff no nah, just like just just i mean it literally Chap just stick. keys no nah, literally keys. just keys just, just keys. keys anyway so i put i put my keys and they're ready to go when we go back into the office and then I realized that it was missing a tab on it. And so I sent them an email. They sent me a new bag. And then as soon as that came, as soon as it arrived at my house, I, I switched the other bag out and put it back in and did a return without even thinking about my key. And so now my keys is up in New South Wales in their warehouse inside, inside the pocket. There's, it's literally like on, there's a little key ring. In the bag, oh, no. and so it's currently attached to that up in Sydney. Could at what moment did you realise that you didn't have the keys? Last night, when I when because I was because I had to go into the office this morning to do the merch orders, and so it was like I was brushing my teeth, and then I thought about it. And I was like, oh. oh no! And so I ran I ran downstairs and I che- I checked this Grabbed your my phone, new bag. Texted me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was him running for fuck's yeah, sake yeah, as yeah, he runs. Sake. Yeah. Hey Had Siri, he yeah. text Josh Jansen. You know, <laughs> it was actually Siri who put the for fuck's sake in there. You'll need to really unlock your it. iPhone yeah. first. Oh, sorry, hang on, that's me. Uh, that was just Siri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. Siri. Anyway, so that's Absolutely it's annoying. It. Yeah. I, I mean, I would be on the phone. I don't feel like an. I feel too disempowered. Like I don't feel connected through email. 
un- unless you got some response instantly, like I n- feel like I need to speak to a human being at that point and be like, mm. this is what's happened. I need help, please, please. Don't we have a contact oh. there? Yeah, at Bell yeah. Road? My mate, my mate Joe works there. I could give her, a, I'll give her a buzz after I this. Just, but if it's, I mean, I sort of feel embarrassed about the whole thing, like saying, oh, you know, yeah. because I've she's she's heard from the outer the whole um. Conundrum, like every time that Sevs has, has an issue, I contact her. And so it's gotten <laughs> to the point where I feel embarrassed mentioning anything because there's been so this many, is, yeah. so many things. Well, this implicates that, us. Just, These, the, the, the key that you've lost is not just one you can go and get cut. These are like the ones that uh, you need, you have like a number on them. You know, can we not, not cut it? Can we not cut. cut it? No, you can get that cut for sure. You, no, you can you, get it cut. You can, but they're more of a security key. Like, they're the bigger ones. They're not just the small ones. Like, you really should have them all sort of registered who's got what. And so, currently, someone has access. And then th- begs the question, these people, do they know where the office is? Not saying they're going to do anything, but if you le- lose a key, mm. like if you lost your keys... It's an insurance issue. And you had your... Wow, someone's got a key to the studio. It's <laughs> Sevs. Very Sevs, annoying. Sevs, Sevs. Yeah, not ideal. Look at him. That's a f- I mean, hopefully- so we need a video of the person at the warehouse destroying the key. No, absolutely yes. not. I, t- I asked him if he could send it back. Uh, that is a lot of admin. Like, is that so too much? Admin I just, ain't good. Nah, nah, nah. They've, they've got it dialed in. Fulfillment center. Literally, they could okay. stick it in a bag and send it back. I don't think it's that much for them, to be honest. Like, they're lovely, and I just, I just think it'd be nice if they could do that. I reckon I have one yeah. key from every place I've ever worked, but I find it <laughs> after the fact. I'm like, oh, there's the. I wonder how yeah. they're getting into that that room now, or the. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got my Southern Cross Oz Stereo um, name badge. Oh, and that, oh that stuff. I um, yeah, I had one for ages. I, I don't know where it's gone. I mean, that, they cancel those, don't they? Like the um, yeah. swiper. Mm-hmm. It's like they just deactivate it on an account. I mean, yeah. this is annoying. Like, w- I've got to take my computer back to Apple at some point. I saw oh. uh, Rob, who owns Quadlock. I saw the experience of him because they've just opened up mm. Apple stores. I saw him at Southland. He was posting some photos saying very different experience. They give you mm. face masks in the Apple store. Really? It looks like a nightclub but with 1.5 metre distancing between it, it, within the line out the front. A lot of cues. Nightmare. Nightmare. Have you, um, is this about your speaker having distortion? Yeah, mm. I just, yeah. I mean, I don't really... Because it's over the year, I think. I think we need to get that sorted quickly because it will go over the, Definitely. the warranty. And I, could also, I could also push and say, I've been COVID. meaning to take this in, but you guys have been closed for the last yeah, yeah. Yeah. three months. Def- I think that on, they're definitely on it. Yeah. Apple are good like that. Mm-hmm. They are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, too much admin. It is. And so you went to the you went to Coles out. yesterday. You you put that video out. Oh, put that out. Coles exp- uh, Coles local, dude. What a joint! I right, hands down the best coffee from a machine. So not made by a human being. Best coffee I've ever had. It was two dollars, which is ridiculous. You pay just pay pass tap and go on the machine and it spits out what you can pick any any flavor you can even pick what strength you like which is my gripe with 7-eleven and all these other places you can't get a strong one if you want a latte it's just fucking milk Mm. and a bit of coffee flavor this is strong flat white two bucks don't even have to speak to anyone no hipster barista just in and out, like that anything was the, dumb that, was, the that was in there that you thought, like, okay, this is just ridiculous hype, but not really adding value. Oh, they're pushing to do a lot more, just f- taking away, like playing into people being lazy, just like mm-hmm. which is is good in some respects. Like, get anything take home that like is great. I was hoping one of those food bars, like Whole Foods, but I don't think they're that one. clean. They don't have one, you know. It's Surely like all those things are there. Still buffet. the um, what's the Australian one that we would go to? About life. Oh, about life. Nah. So about life is was the closest thing to Whole Foods in Australia. There was one in Sydney. Amy and I, when we were living together up there, we we would get dinner and share one small box, which you could fill up really high. It was like five dollars each. Like that's how cheap it was, and it was yeah. great because it was fresh produce. 
And one in they Melbourne too, been, Port Melbourne. Yeah, one in Port Melbourne. I don't know, I'm sure, not sure if it's still there, but the one in Sydney's gone. Really? It's It's been taken over by Woolworths who have done like some deli, Woolworths deli. Anyway, man, this is impressive. Like if Coles are starting to roll these out across Australia, it's a good thing. Mm. They just, I mean, it, I couldn't imagine them in like Shepparton or something like that. Why? Like that pet food section was crazy. Oh, the they pet food was da- like surely that was the dumb section, like peanut butter, like <laughs> food. Who, yeah. Like where's the? I guess a pet owners. There's a, some appeal, but I just feel like yeah. a lot of rah rah. A lot of time is being spent. A lot of rah rah on a section yeah. that like which yeah, who who is buying their pet peanut <laughs> butter biscuits? I don't know. Mate. People it's, would for sure. It is. It's, it's the outrageous. nut section. It is interesting though because they've still the, people aren't caring about dogs' uh, health because you know like the nut section, the DIY nut collection and way station, that's gone. Like they've they've bagged them all up at this moment, so nobody no no Gronk can put their grubby hands, i.e. Bodie just grabbing a little chockey at the supermarket and you know putting his little dirty hands in there. They've bagged them up, but. In the dog food section, it's um, free for all. Like, it's still there. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know if dogs can get coronavirus, but (laughs) I was thinking about, like, because I was joking that I was going to get you a peanut butter biscuit Mm -hmm. that was a dog biscuit, completely edible by a human. No, it was literally just, like, peanuts, coconut oil, uh, rice flour, some bullshit, and then... (laughs) You could have eaten it, JJ. So I, I reckon whatever the some bullshit was is probably the bit that I shouldn't be eating. <laughs> <Yeah. you> just <laughs> sort of, <laughs> you sort of got me. So like that sounds like a great raw treat, but the some bullshit yeah. is just like something Absolutely disgusting. Not. I'm sure. Yeah. How are your teeth feeling, yeah, Sebs? Ah, oh, they're still, mate. They're still a bit sensitive, to be honest. What have you done? Have you had a bleaching? Have you had your teeth done? <laughs> nah. Now, why they're are your teeth sensitive? I don't know. I just. I, just, re- I mean, just since I saw, I reckon they've just, especially like along the top, they're just mm-hmm. a bit sensitive to bit cold, cold, yeah, temperature. I've noticed yeah. it drinking like water and stuff when you have cold water from the tap, it starts to hurt. Or when I bite into Which a piece of fruit from using? the fridge, I just Colgate 20 or red 12, one? Hour, 12 hour, yeah, I use the red one, I love the red one. Nah, the red one makes your red... teeth sensitive, really. I reckon, why is oh. that? Yeah, don't know. I mean, we. <laughs> 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 How do you know that? Are you sure about that? Because yeah, I sure use an eye sensitive teeth. Yeah, I use okay. it too. <laughs> that's what is extrapolated. It's real I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> nah. The what I do I mean, know, and I don't know why, if if your teeth are affected by hot water, it's a real issue. Cold water, not so much. Amy Amy because mm. Amy used to be a um manager of an orthodontic practice, like an Invisalign clinic. And she, the other week I was like, Oh, this is like um this is a bit affected by temperature. And she's like, not hot, is it? I was like, nah. She's like, okay, good. Hot's bad. Can we look up what that means? Mm. If you're well, I'm actually, lo- I'm looking to go to the dentist when I get back. We can They've we even- can call my mum about those two issues. It's, it feels like two that Lynn okay, Jansen is definitely going to have an opinion on. <laughs> well, I've got one of my, one of my front teeth is, it actually doesn't respond to any temperature. Oh, yeah. like it's full. Yeah. Well, that's because it's dead. Yeah. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Is it? Wow. You got a dead tooth. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Jansen. You're on the Daily Talk Show again. Um, we've, oh, that's lovely. We've got uh, a dental question. Um, yeah, I hope I can help you. You know the red the um, the red toothpaste, the Colgate, the one that's in the, the red silver, like sort of metallic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Optic white, I think it's called. The whitening yeah. one, yeah. Yep. Have you heard people talk about sensitive, like that making your teeth more sensitive? Any um, whitening toothpaste can make toothpaste mm-hmm. can make your teeth sensitive, mm-hmm. and when you get your teeth whitened, they become very sensitive. Sure. So, and actually, when I used it, it made my teeth quite sensitive too. Okay, mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's good. So, Georgie boy, you're right on that. And then TJ, you had one in regards to temperature. A question? Yeah, yeah. What is uh, is there a difference? I guess we could just ask between the reason of why you're affected by cold. Or hot water? Like, is hot worse to be sensitive to yeah. than cold? Yeah. If you're sensitive to hot on a tooth, it means the tooth's dying usually. Okay. Oh. Okay. And, and so, if 97's, um, just, if 97's got sort of a few sensitive teeth at the top uh, top sort of section of his mouth, 
anything yep. that he can do right now, he is using Optic White. Um, stop using Optic White. Get some Colgate Sensitive. I reckon that's quite good. Okay. Okay, great. What about okay. Sensodyne? I'm just talking yes. to you from San Remo. Oh, really? That's nice. Oh, yeah, great. looking at the Pelicans right now. A lovely day off. Sensodyne? What yeah. do you think of Sensodyne? Um, yeah, Sensodyne's fine. Yeah, I've got it's samples. It's expensive. I've <laughs> oh, got samples. That's good. Oh, I've got, got samples. samples. <laughs> okay, that's I've got samples of Sensodyne as uh, Colgate Sensitive. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. There you go. All right. Okay, Enjoy our house has started. They've oh, started great. digging dirt. So oh, that's, there you go. that's exciting. News oh. for everybody. Oh, we'll do a show <laughs> once it's done. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, great. All right, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Lynn. Bye. Bye. See you, Lynn. Lynn Jansen there. My mum. That's amazing. Broken dirt on a new home build. That's it's exciting. What dreams are made so of. exciting. Hey, look up Pelican eating a pigeon. It oh is. Oh, my God. <laughs> eating a pi- oh. oh, my God. It's full on, this, this little nasty pelican. It could be a seagull. It just, oh, no. you know, the big big beaked and the big gull. Uh, is it a gullet? <gasps> a gull underneath them? Oh. It's full on, dude. It's so full on. Flies off with one. Just puts a... Ho- I mean, it can't eat it. Like, it's not going to actually swallow it. It just holds thing. it in its mouth, right? In its little... And then flew off. Uh, I just spent so much time watching... I was just typing pelicans eating birds. Ah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not good. Mental. TJ, have it you ever mental. cooked a whole chicken? Roast chicken? Uh, no, I mean... I was going to say yes, but... No, my wife does it. <laughs> <laughs> As in, I was gonna, you know, then you're just like, yeah, 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 all yeah, the yeah. time, every Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, absolutely, do I do anything? No, I cut the potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. But Amy, Amy does it every Sunday. We did one, yeah, it's our new routine. Really simple. Mm. Shove a, you know, you just, I mean, this is, I uh, say this, I didn't do it, but you shove a lemon up its ass. And, who, what um, are we? Ta- who are we talking you know? about here? <laughs> <laughs> and then she makes the, ch- the, the roast chicken. Is that <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. She's absolutely nailed it. <laughs> the um, <laughs> oh, why do you want to do a roast chook? Yeah, no. So I, I was watching what's the. the uh, yeah, go on. What's the deal with beer? The beer can up the. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. It seems yeah, like yeah. a little bit. Um, yeah, it well Fat because coach. the. So I was <laughs> watching a bit gimmicky because I was watching um, the Gordon Ramsay thing last night, and he was there was just I feel like I haven't seen many celebrity cooks make like a roast chicken and mm. there's something quite confronting about it, just as they're like shoving shit into the chicken and trying to fill <laughs> it out it's just like manhandling it and then they like does amy tie up the chicken at the end uh no no nah. that's that's pretty fancy if you do yeah, so we just like tied the chicken it just keeps its shape but i'm thinking about yeah. on the weekend cooking a roast chicken but i've been oh. i'm very funny when it comes to like I feel like I never really get into the full chicken. Like I'm not a guy that will mm. eat every little bit. Like I'm sort of a a white meat breast guy. Yeah, I'm a breast definitely a breast guy. I'm definitely a breast yeah. guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got that clean too. <laughs> got it <laughs> clean. No. Um, what, about, what about you, Joey? Do you like the, the the whole chicken? Are you a leg or guy? Are you, are you yeah. a breast guy? I, I'm a wings and legs guy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Breasts are good. <laughs> But um, <laughs> <laughs> breasts are um, but they can be a bit. They're easily overcooked. Yeah. Breasts, mm-hmm. so thighs like oh, in a curry oh. you use. Is that oh, oh, that is the gone? light. How bad is that? Hang on, that's very annoying. This you want to turn that off? Um, um, yeah. So um, for fuck's sake, <laughs> yeah, fuck's sake. <laughs> JJ, you should go though to the Coles local mm. in Glen Ferry. Get your chook. Get a coffee. Get some sweets for your Sunday roast. Oh yeah, or whatever, that could be nice. Yeah, Saturday, whatever, you, mm-hmm. whatever you want to, whatever you want to do. What else, like it I feel like this is, uh, this is all I can talk about is all the cooking stuff at the moment. Mm. Well, um, it's what you're consuming. Mm. I mean, it's either that or podcast wars with yeah, Barstool yeah. <laughs> Sports yeah. that network, which is highly, highly entertaining for anyone. Yeah. Mm. If um, call her daddy if you listen to the latest episode of their podcast. It's very interesting. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. Mm. Can get around it. There's I mean, all articles and stuff like, can you imagine a podcast in Australia getting that amount of media attention? No, it's crazy. It's the New it's York crazy. Times, it's, it's everywhere. It feels like a different world, but I mean, mm-hmm. they are on contracts making $500,000 a year as like talent yeah. on a podcast. It's, it's see 100K next level. 
Who says it's the next level? 100k an app. That's how much they. That's how much the um, Basel Media's oh, okay. Basel Sports getting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like I love when I discover something I have never heard of before. It's like um, in the Discord, um, a few of the Gronks were recommending. What is it called? It's the kitchen. The YouTube. There's like a YouTube channel, and it's yeah. like um, kitchens. Like, like imagine um, Architects Digest. Remember, I spoke about that. And this is like the the um, kitchen version, so you What's can watch like um, cooking and all that sort of thing. If someone says in the comments, Bon Appetit That's is right. the uh, is the name. Did you know that um, right. Gordon Ramsay is fluent in French? Really, mm. really, That's yeah. pretty good. And he actually started out as a professional footballer, soccer player, I believe. Really, I didn't. I, didn't know. Actually quite I think funny. I think he I think he played for England. It's no, like, it's like when someone says. No, I think. Someone, that's I mean, he's done, actually, he's done. Tr- he's done triathlons. <laughs> what did you and stuff. just like say, he's pretty, TJ? It's like when someone says "fuck" and they say, "Oh, pardon my French." Gordon Ramsay swears a lot. No, but, but he, he is. He, he learned his craft. French. He spent a bunch of time in. You know how I was when we had uh, Michelle Battersby on. I yeah. was slamming uh, French cuisine. He was really talking it up. But I'm not really uh, a shrooms guy. I haven't had many <laughs> mushrooms. Like I, I wouldn't know if you showed me a mushroom, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is and whether it was safe. To, if it's safe to eat, well, I, I, I don't think I could tell you if it's safe to eat uh, unless you if know for cold. sure that it's <laughs> from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's from a supermarket, but mm. if you just pulled up a mushroom and said, "What do you reckon?" Mm. I'd be like, "I don't know." If I gave you Who an knows? eggplant, you know, you can get and you had to cook it an eggplant. How would you cook it? Um, roast it. Roast. How'd you roast just it? Roast it. Just um, just describe the process of how you put it in to roast it. Oh, I don't even know. Cut it in half. Put some shit in the inside of it. Hot, <laughs> put it back together. Rub mm, it with salt wrong. and pepper and oil. Would you? Well, I so think n- you do. I think you do like sort of like strips of it. Mm. And then you and then you and then you're putting it down on the tray. I'd probably okay. go for a eggplant dip, to be honest. All right, okay. Josh is okay. going to say that you put it on the on the actual flame. Is that what you're going to say? No, 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 no. I've, I mean, I remember doing that as a kid with a capsicum because I saw, um, I think, uh, uh, Jeff Jans do it. But no, the uh, what you can do is uh, there's a lot of bitterness in eggplant. Did you know that it's quite a bitter vegetable? Mm. Beautiful vegetable if treated. Um, correctly and well and respected it's sort of um in europe they call it an aubergine mm. and so what i would recommend eggplant does doesn't it uh, what i would recommend is you've got to wet your knife first uh before you cut it and so you, you cut it in half now you just want to score it back and forth score it that's all good now there's a lot of if you just sort of put it uh in the oven then there's a lot of bitterness from the water eggplant holds a lot of water and so what you need to do is after scoring it you need to put a bunch of water uh, sorry a bunch of salt a bunch of salt not water cancel the water bit put a bunch of salt on the top of the eggplant really be generous with it and then if you can find a tray where you have like one of those like the grid things you know so it's got like separation between mm. the tray mm. put it upside down so the flesh is facing down. Now, what's going to happen oh, is the water will drip. If you leave that for 15 minutes, when you pick the eggplant up, it will be soaked. And all you need to do is get a bit of paper towel and wipe it down. Um, and so that's one of the main the main tips before doing it. And then on top of that, TJ, before you put it into the oven, what I'd recommend is just cutting up some garlic. Don't mince it. Don't don't crush it. You want the, the full bits. You just cut it. And then just place it in to those scored sections. And what's going to happen is through this, it's going to be about 40 minutes that you're going to spend putting it in the oven. That uh, that garlic is going to purify. It's going to turn into a puree. And so um, when you take it out, it's going to almost, you're going to scoop it out with a spoon. It's going to be like a baba ganoush or a kashkambadam jun, as they say in, in Iran. And so that would be beautiful. You could use it. You could have it hot 
Or did the you next day. Did it last night? Did you <laughs> did you? Maybe he has got photographic memory. <laughs> just, have you woken up from a stroke? He's definitely <laughs> been struck by lightning. Absolutely. <laughs> and so... No, but I'm Josh, saying yeah. that, in saying that, Josh, um, we're going to Coburg today. Did you want to yeah. get a kebab? No, nah, because I'm, fa- of- I'm fasting in like... Like I've started what fasting already <laughs> because I, I had, I've already had like breakfast, lunch and dinner already now so that I didn't. But no, I would love, I can film you having a, uh, oh, actually if we did it before two, I could have something cheeky before two. Just something little, small, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't such a... F- need, to send that, need to send that snippet to um, Dave Thornton. Why? Which to show how far you've come. Oh yeah, when I, he was on the show, you were talk, you were talking about food, and he was calling you an alien. Hang on, can I just get a confirmation? <laughs> you don't have to put this in what you send to Dave. Have you done just what you told us? Like, have you no, done no, the no, exact no, process? Not yet, not yet. But I'm going to like <laughs> that's what I want to do on the weekend. I'm getting, but I've said to Bree, like the annoying part is that um, <laughs> Bree sees that every single time Gordon Ramsay recommends some sort of product. She just fucking eye rolls because she's like, you're going to want that one, aren't you? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so the, the current contentious issue is the chopping board. Um, I need a chopping board, a good quality chopping board. And we have like global it, yeah. knives. But the thing is, is it? I hadn't been get, like really good. Like um, my brother's ex-girlfriend worked at like a wholesaler, got a really good price on, on, on glo- global knives. And um, the thing is that I hadn't been sharpening them. And oh. then Gordon Ramsay was like, you need to sharpen them before every use, and if you don't, oh. you're going to ruin the knife. I just oh looked over to the God. global, you know, the thousand dollar knives. I'm like, man, they're ruined. done. <laughs> they're done. Yeah. Have to get them in the dishwasher. And I don't put them in the dishwasher. No, that's good. That's but the thing good. is, Do you have I a think knife sharpener. Do you have well, a so we've got one of those ones where it's like it's a water thing, and you put it on, and it's like you go back and forth. But I want. What Gordon was using was like a... Just a stick. Steel a stick. stick. And like yeah. you do it yeah. slowly. You don't want to cut yourself. Oh, just like the There's guy in the kebab video I made earlier in the yeah. week. He's just sharpening his knife. Mm. We had one of those as a kid. It's yeah. just like, I don't even know what it is, a piece of metal. It's, it's a like steel, yeah, it's a steel sharpen, I think. Mm. We've got one. It, when, you do appreciate a sharp knife, like something that you don't. When you just... Like, yeah, it's something about having a sharp knife cutting through. It's just like butter yeah. cutting through meat, tomatoes. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tomatoes, you notice it especially. Yeah. Well, the other thing too Absolutely. is it's like produce-wise. Like, I think mm. I'm going to have to... I'm, the, the big challenge for me is just going to get used to going out to the shops and getting stuff. That's the biggest barrier. Um, Lots yeah. of people around. It's really picking back up, isn't it, Georgie yeah. boy? Yeah, there's lots George of was yelling do a weekly shop, today. Josh. Yeah, I reckon you could do that. Yeah. Well, I Click think that. Collect. I mean, oh, how did your um, how'd your slow cook cooker go? Oh, yeah, it's delicious. I got some for lunch, so I'm going to have that after. Um, Yum. Really good. Turned out turned out beautiful. Um, how's yours going, Sebs? Have you done any today or? Yeah, nah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how was your wine? Still me. Still. The wine, yeah, still you, yeah, yeah. Did you pick up? You yeah, picked up some wine last night, yeah. Oh, you didn't pick up. You you just opened a bottle. Oh, from no in the in the shop when we were doing the Discord phone call, had apple pie. Is that what you're talking about? Apple pie? No, I thought on the episode you said you pick up wine, but how was the apple pie? <laughs> this is going great. Um, this is what happens when really George nice. and Sevs are left to talk to amongst themselves. <laughs> Go on, this is great. <laughs> the apple pie was nice. It was a Nana's four pack. For four dollars from Woolies, and we had it with some. Was that enough? Yeah, a four, a four, a four pack, four, one each, four pack of little ones. Yeah, one each. Okay, had sure. it with some cream and ice cream, so that was nice. But the the shanks were just superb. To die for. Great. <laughs> That's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was right, Mate, lucky that baby's was getting this on a Friday from Sevs and George. <laughs> uh, I know. George has already been on the Prosecco this morning at 9.30 a.m. It's, uh, it's a part of the video. It's part of the video. Yeah, it's all part of the video. It's a lot of, yeah. yeah. I wonder how much of it is for content versus, yeah. He's well, now I'm worried because week. it's like, now we've talked, we've, have we ruined it a bit or? No. Talking no. very meta. No, no that's it's fine. Right. We, yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, I think I it's think fine. It's hey, um, uh, announcement in regards to the megaphone. 
This is this oh. is great. So uh, I'm going to do a a little uh, bonus megaphone thing playing in to this announcement. This is actually epic, and we probably should have even done it earlier. That's how good it was. But the eggplant stuff. It, t- take a photo of your eggplant too, and at the Daily Talk Show we'll share it across on our Insta. If you do, Hang on, the, wait, wait, whoa, 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 or your ch- or your chicken. Yeah, if you if do my chicken, a chicken, or if you do the. <laughs> I didn't really describe how to do the chicken. You don't have to. But you're right. You put the lemon in it. You put some onions. Do it as wedges because it will sort of of fit in nicely. Yeah. But don't crush the garlic. Keep it in whole. It's nice. Is it a clove? You just want a clove of garlic. Do you know where people go wrong? Where? They (laughs) don't season. They don't season the cavity. Ah. You've got to season the cavity. Yes, of the (laughs) chook. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Well, you said you'd score the eggplant, so I was wondering which one we're talking about here. Well, the, the eggplant, eggplant doesn't cavity. have a cavity, really, does it? Okay, well, well, you, you could cut it, and then the score is you a create cavity. You score it. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. I get that. Okay, here <laughs> we go. Scores. So here's a, here's a little uh, bit on the megaphone, and then uh, we'll play a video from a gronk. Yeah. Great, here we you go. You need that Kill. on the hip. Oh. Killyourfriends.co. Killyourfriends.co. Go to that URL right now and buy the award winning game by Lee. Killyourfriends.co. If you do, tag the Daily Talk Show so we can reshare. Now, here is a great video that we received from Gronk Lee last night. Hey Gronks, it's Lee here from Kill Your Friends. I just wanted to send a quick message to say thank you so much um, for the Megaphone sponsorship and yeah, for choosing me. And thank you so much to Kate from Women of Influence for paying it forward and allowing me to be the next Megaphone sponsor. I was riding into work this morning on my bike and yeah, almost fell off my bike when I heard the, heard the news and what you guys have done. And not only that, what you did, it's like how you went about it, that it was a surprise and then all the amazing kind uh, words you guys said about me and what I've been doing as well was just yeah, awesome to hear and a really amazing treat. So thank you, thank you so much. Now I loved what um, Kate did as well by paying it forward. So um, I'd like to get in on that and do the same thing as well. So I'm willing to pledge 150 bucks uh, for the next Megaphone sponsorship um, that you guys can give to the next Gronk of your choice that you think's worthy of it. So yeah, thanks again guys, really, really appreciate it. Um, but I do have one more um, special request and a favour to ask. Now, Josh has been having a lot of fun with the megaphone. I didn't and, watch yeah, rightly so, but <laughs> I feel like it's time uh, for you to give uh, the other guys a bit of a turn and have oh, their chance to have a bit of fun with it as well. No, this so is fucked. I'm proposing next time you guys get together um, <laughs> to have a game of Kill Your Friends and then the winner of the game uh, gets ownership and control oh. of the megaphone for one week. <laughs> Now, 90 sevs, um, I've still got my money in the <laughs> So, yeah, can't wait to see what happens. And, yeah, thanks again so much. Thanks again for keeping me entertained with your show. Uh, yeah, later, Gronks. Legend. How good is that? I mean, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't watch the end. I really didn't watch the end because it cut off. I said, hey, mate, can you email it to us? And I just played it. Um, That's great. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> it's a great with, idea. Uh, you're going to just have to create. Um, you're going to have to get new batteries because I've. And the other <laughs> thing too is, what do I do at night if something happens in the middle of the night? Scream. Oh. Scream. <laughs> I, I did actually think. <laughs> I did actually think. <laughs> so what is that guy doing? That's good. Ah! <laughs> 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 I did think that Josh. He's on a meeting. Call. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> when we buy new batteries on. from Office Works, we could also buy the mini one, and then the mini one is a different. I don't think there is a like, mini megaphone, is there? Oh, there's no mini mini ones. No, this is the oh, sort of there's one was... size. Yeah, yeah. There is a PA system. Could get a PA system. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it, Lee. Classic, mate. Well done. That was and so good. How nice is that? He's now buying a hundred and fifty dollar megaphone naming right sponsor. Mm. To give away, so we're going to have to over the weekend so at least good. work out who the next sponsor is. Mm. Yeah, it's I mean, Dr. K was mentioning about the like whether it's safe in a pandemic for you guys to use the megaphone. I feel like I've spat all over it. 
That's all right. I mean, we can just detail it. We can sanitize it. Yeah. Hey, have you noticed? This is, I mean, Josh, you probably haven't. Driving around, though, there is packs of people in high vis. Yeah. Walking so I think, I think up it's Swan a Street. Yarra Council thing, maybe? They're all cleaning poles yeah. and literally everything. They've got big buckets of hand, like sanitizer and they're dipping in. Like I saw them rubbing a fence like someone's house. Just Why were they, so, why the are they so close to one another though? Because they're in packs of 20. It's like, isn't that defeating the purpose? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. Like they are the, they're sanitizing. So I wonder if they're tested. Like if the people who are needing to do the thing that's trying to remove any mm-hmm. surface surfaces that are affected need to be tested maybe a lot of them have masks on and stuff but i did think also so this sort of young girl you, you know she could work in the cbd i i was my story in my head was like that's somebody who's lost their job and mm. they've you know the government when this all happened was like there is jobs for people the council needs people i was thinking look at her she's working she's found a job this is great so I feel about the um, I don't know how they do it in our council, but the um, the lollipop people, the school mm. like the yeah. like so the, in Australia, the crossing. Uh, like in Victoria anyway, they've got like uh, people holding stop signs. And it's like a lot of times like it's like retired people or pe- like all different mm. types. Is this it's for good schools? Fun. The crossing yeah. supervisors, mm-hmm. yeah. But they do it for me too, yeah. like in the morning. Yeah, when I'm crossing. There's that lovely, lovely lady on um, Wellington Street. Oh, she's so whatever. nice, isn't she? Every she's, single yeah. yeah. She says yeah. hello got every one. single day. Yeah. Near the Nando's head office in the back of Abbotsford, there's this guy. He's we call him Smiley. He's just every time we see him, just smiling. I could weird. get around that so job. Nice. Could you imagine me doing? Could you imagine the? Definitely be on news.com.au uh, and being like, look at the... Pa- look at, <laughs> just, it could go either way. It could Whistle. be like, look at what that guy does with his lollipop and I'm like flinging it around and doing tricks. Or it's me having an altercation with a, with a driver. <laughs> Smashing the f- bonnet yeah, of some yeah, car. Just, yeah. just Whistle. Yeah. yeah, It's funny. The megaphone. All right. <laughs> Sevs, I feel like you need to get on the phone for trying to get your keys back because that is an absolute disaster on your end and it won't go away. Don't bury your head in the sand. It won't go away. Mm. <laughs> You've done a good job though with it. I will um, let's shit sandwich it. You you did a great job with uh, getting all the merch stuff because I threw it out there. I said we're doing a merch, the final bit of merch stock, we're getting rid of it. But I didn't do any of the logistics. I didn't no, even you think didn't. about it. Didn't, <laughs> even consider, didn't even ask you. I just did it and then just saw what happened. And you went and yeah. you got it all and you went to Oz Post and you got it all mm. sent. So that was very good. It's all sorted. Yeah. I, well done. I got a message this morning asking for a lift into the office. <laughs> Poor Sevs. I was already in Collingwood and so we had to catch the bus. How was but your the experience? Bus was Which, catching the bus is experience? all right. Transport. Great, gr- I would say great experience on the buses at the moment if there's no one in them. The one, the one that I went on, there was two people in the bus aside from me and it just smelt of disinfectant so real mm. clean the bus driver real chirpy he was great i didn't ask him the highlight of his day but he was, how, he was having a ball how is the bus driver talking to anyone what do you mean we, do you sit up the front? Just, no no he just yells out the whole bus can hear him he just yells out have a great day have a great weekend he's great oh what a nice he's guy lovely nice. lovely right. the last time you're on a Friday bus vibe. they they stopped the bus because of you to tell me off yeah well it just depends on the driver like you'd think now like during a pandemic you'd think they'd be a little bit more unhappy to come to work but he was i had a great driver he was great mm. yeah, i reckon the, um, there's i reckon there is just a reset in a lot of people's attitudes to life like maybe gratefulness god you know like traffic it was like last night here's a weird perspective it's been amazing having no traffic Last night got stuck in a bit of traffic and I was almost thankful like stuff's getting back to normal. Like it was nice that things are changing, which means that we're succeeding as a country. Mm. I would have been furious. It's annoying, but it's also like, yeah, this is good. Like shit's happening. People Mm -hmm. are getting out about it is coming back. And so I feel like I only have that approach based on what's happened. Like it's an appreciation, right? Mm-hmm. It's just a, another way of looking at it. That reminds me. I nearly got spat on the other day. Oh, <laughs> How gross is that? Oh, Jesus. All right, mate. By who? It was so bad. By this girl. Like, I was walking 
around to get on the tram uh-huh. and I just like sort of walked around and she just spat and I nearly walked into it. And I was like, you can't <laughs> do that. That's, That's like, yeah. was she 1.5 meters away from you? It was a long spit. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very long spit. And so, so, what, your did, so did you, you say there? something? Did you say, hey, you can't nah, do that? I didn't say anything. I just looked at her. She was, she seemed a bit like Off down on her luck. So I just sort of just like, oh, whatever. But pretty gross. Yeah. I, um, I she seemed young. There was a, a businesswoman the other day walking and um, she wasn't really keeping distance. So I sort of went off onto the, the road to avoid her mm. from the path. And basically as I passed her, she was like, <laughs> and it was like really cold. And so like you could see the particles. It was almost like some sort oh, of TAC no. ad for, um, oh, no. uh, for you know, COVID. You know, it's like, you know, the slow, like TAC for people who don't know, it's like the Traffic Authority um, Commission in Australia, I think, or is it Victoria specific? I don't know, but they do those crazy ads where it's like everything in slow motion. It felt like a bit mm. a, one of those uh, things, yeah. you know? A Victorian, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they do those ads where you just, like watch out before you open the door oh, and they just right. show the bloke just being smashed. Oh, what about the um, the work cover ads, like the ones where it's oh. like, oh, I'll grab the bread from the slicer. That's oh, literally speaking, what I thought. I was so you, worried. Oh, yeah. me too. Oh, my God. Me at So Coles, when Tommy I went a, to Coles, there was a bread slicer. It's like, oh, you can slice your own, yeah. own bread. I was like, oh, here we go. This <laughs> literally. Is, he's, lost a, he's lost a hand. <laughs> he's done. pretty protective. It's, it's, it's Gronk proof. So you choose your own bread, whatever one you want. I went with, you know, nice panna de casa and then... Mm. Opened it up, whacked it in. You have to pull the... Gordon like this. recommends brioche, by the way, if you're doing toast. Really? Gordon? I mean, not healthy, as if it's, Gor- it's Gordon, are you? Gordon wouldn't be fucking having brioche What's wrong with sourdough? He just says brioche is way better. It's buttery. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah, sure. And, and so, then, and pancakes are better than bread. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have pancakes all the time. Have you seen how shredded it is? He runs like triathlons. I can't stuff. tell, to be honest. It's that He's in that Look body him up. T- Look Type where it's like yeah, he I could be mean. ripped or he could be, you know, not ripped. Anyway, you, yeah, there's a the, the, Gronk proof. Yeah. The, you pull the you pull this huge sort of glass. Bree just lid walks over in. She top. forgets we're doing a show. She's like, "Are you talking about Gordon Ramsay?" Walks in. She goes, "Oh, you're doing the show." <laughs> 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 I thought that Sevs and I that would be a FaceTime conversation that Sevs and I would be Definitely. having. Oh, absolutely. But Bree's got an opinion. Yeah. He, but he's a nice. <laughs> if if that is if that is him being chubby. That's the sort of old guy chubby that I could get around where it's yeah. like, because if you're a bit chubby, I believe I've heard somewhere when you're older, actually Dr. Weil, Dr. Andrew Weil, who wrote the book, um, uh, he does like the anti-inflammatory stuff, eight, the eight something, Sebs, can you tell me what it's called? The eight something diet. It's like um, Andrew Weil, Dr. Name? Andrew Weil, W E I L Weil. Healthy living, yeah. What's no. his? Uh, yeah, eight the eight rules of healthy living, or something. But anyway, he taught like he's he's this healthy guy or a guy always mm-hmm. talking about health, and he's got a bit of weight around him, he which is sort of weird. And and what's he? Well, he was saying like saying? when you're older, you should have a bit of fat. It helps. He's a like, guy that does all like Eastern, is it Eastern medicine and like Western, like all that sort of mix. Primrose oil. Did you find it with natural anti-inflammatory? The bu- yeah. eight <laughs> weeks to optimum health, maybe. Eight, eight weeks to weeks optimum health. Eight. That is the only yeah, one. Eight. Go. There we go. I mean, you um, need a bit more than eight weeks, but is that is that like a child? You know, a, when you have a baby, it's like hoping they're a bit fat. You know, a little little chub mm-hmm. on them, protective yeah. layer, mm-hmm. the energy there, rather than a skinny child, skinny baby. Mm-hmm. As you, get, I mean, we, Casey you says, just, JJ, your body isn't your resume. But it is your show reel, you know? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you got to have your CV and your show reel sorted. If you, if yeah, you, yeah. You know. No, I get it. I get. It. I understand that these topics can be triggering for some. Uh, That's great. Good one, guys. That's great. All right. Uh, so we'll, right, let's, let's work out. Uh, let's work out as well what we'll do with the the megaphone. If you've got an idea for yeah. how we can pay it forward, maybe mm. chat with us in the um, in the Discord. Discord, yeah. That could be good. You can do private chats if, too, so you can jump in. If someone wants to join the Discord, how do you mm-hmm. join? 
Um, well, I think what I'll, what I'll do Can you is send I'll, an email? I'll send an email out to all VIP Gronks with a right. URL that you can just click and it'll probably prompt you to download the app if you don't have it already. Um, but you'll you'll be able to join the Discord. Mm-hmm. And so okay. you copy and paste the link that you're sending and then that's the invite. Into your browser. Invite. Yep. That's yep. the invite, yeah. So the link will expire though. Can we put some like... No, nah, it doesn't expire, does it? This there's a new one. Like um, Whitey created a new one that doesn't expire. Mate, Whitey, how good is Whitey? He's great. Well, He's on it. Yeah, he um, is on it. He ended up picking up his pizza last night. It was a contentious issue in. Oh in really? The, um, Discord. He wasn't. He was twenty minutes late beh- behind yeah. the time he said he'd go pick up his pizza, but it was all good. So. And was it hot? It was hot. Yeah, it was warm. Mate, that's solid. That's great. That pizza so that's why you need to that be on the Discord. We need the megaphone needs. That's that, what you're that missing out on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's a daily talk show. Enjoy your Friday. And oh yeah, also second Friday of the month in June. June twelve. June June twelve. Put it in the calendar. Uh, Friday night drinks. The second Friday of every month. Friday night drinks. Is that all good Love with it. you guys? Great. Absolutely Perfect. love yeah, it. Yeah. Perfect. It's, it makes like the great. farmer's markets, first Sunday yeah. of every month. Yeah. This is second Friday, Friday of every month. Well, I'll be there. Why'd you pick second? What was, what was the reason for that? Uh, it's just middle of the month. Grace great, may, uh, suggested actually, and I had no pushback on it. And Perfect. it felt like it's it's not next week. So it sort sure. of gives it a bit yeah. of space, you know? No, I love yeah, it. Yeah, no, I get it. It's Good not way. even the week after. It's in three weeks. Great. So we can really sort of lead up Pump to it. it up. Yeah. Okay. All right, legends. Great. Happy Friday. No Friday night drinks tonight, Lara, but um, people will be chatting on Discord. Mm. So be there might even fun. be a voice or vi- people might be in the voice or video channel on Discord. Yeah, maybe. Are you going to have wines so, tonight again, TJ, or are you doing one night on, one night off? Oh, uh, no. Nah, I might have a Prosecco with George in the afternoon as we premiere the video. So get your Definitely. Proseccos ready because we'll be drinking at yeah. 5 p.m. Great. Sounds good. All right. It's the Daily Talk Show. See you tomorrow, guys. See you, everyone.